I would like to introduce relation between an LMI and control in this video. The title is LMI and control. LMI means linear matrix inequality and is widely used in control engineering field to design parameters. LMI problem is relatively easy to solve because of the usefulness of the SDP solver. This, these equations are standard dynamical systems. This shows continuous time autonomous system and this shows the discrete time system. We check the stability of the control system using Lyapunov equations. The case of continuous time system the amplification is given like this. And the case of discrete time system, the amplification is given like this. When there exists set P is positive and Q is positive, the control system is asymptotically stable. And this function form is uh, given as a Lyapunov function. This slide shows the case of continuous time system. Lyapunov equation is given like this. V is given by this form and X is the state of the continuous time system. In case P is positive matrix, V is larger than zero for all x. On the other hand, the time derivative of v is given like this. When q is positive matrix, this, this form is smaller than zero. Then these equations hold for all x v goes to zero asymptotically. In case of Lyapunov inequality, this inequality holds and v also goes to zero asymptotically by these forms. The three inequalities, the linear matrix inequality is considered and we want to find P and Q which satisfy these inequalities, then the system is st stable, asymptotically stable. This slide shows an example of Matlab command. This is a controller uh, system parameters and these equations show the form formulation of LMIs. To solve LMIs, we use mean CX as a function of MATLAB. This is the same code of the PowerPoint. This is the system parameters and this is the LMI formulation. By solving LMIs, we use these function. Uh, we can use this function or this function. When we use command, we can obtain the so solution of the LMIs. We obtain 
positive matrices P and Q like this. In case of discrete time system, the equation is given like this, and P and Q should be positive matrices. When these equations hold for all x, V goes to zero asymptotically by these equations, uh, equation and inequalities. In case of the Apnoff inequality, V also goes to zero asymptotically by three inequalities. So we solve P and Q, which is a variable, variable matrices. And when we obtain positive matrices P and Q, then the system is stable. This is a MATLAB code of the case of discrete time system. These lines are the LMI formula for discrete time system, and we solve LMI problem by using MCX. By solving this code, we obtain P like this. We can find P is uh, uh, P is a positive matrix because the eigenvalues are all positive. Then we consider the L2 induced norm by solving L by problems. This LMI and P is positive, then we can obtain this inequality and we can prove the L2 induced norm is smaller than gamma. So we minimize gamma to analyze the control system. This is a MATLAB code of, to analyze L2 induced norm of a control system. This is a plant parameters and these lines show the LMI formula. We solve mean CX, uh, we solve LMIs using mean CX and we add C to evaluate the gamma gamma like this. Then we solve problem and we can obtain minimum gamma like this. Then we consider MATLAB problem for 
feedback control system design. We find feedback gain K to satisfy stability and controlled performance, to satisfy some control performance. We find controller which minimize L2 induced norm from disturbance W to Y. Feedback controller is given to minimize the effect of the disturbance W to the control output Y. This slide shows the Elevate program code to design control feedback and Note that I put all MATLAB programs on my homepage. This is the code of LMI design program. We obtain feedback gain K by this equation. These values are pole of the feedback control system. And feedback gain is given like this. That's all. Thank you for view our video.